What is good everybody, it is Trey from My Damn Toys, and today we have some new WWE action figures shown at WrestleMania Access. Mattel went to the event and they have a whole setup there with like a stage and a ring and everything. It's so great. Tons of WWE action figures spread across and they look very awesome. We got some new images, some close-up images that look really awesome, so let's go ahead and get into these figures. So the first figure we have right here, guys, is the new Honky Tonk Man GameStop exclusive. As you can see in the background, we have the USA Macho Man and the Rockers HBK as well that are announced for GameStop exclusives. I love the way this figure looks. I actually have the basic version of this. It actually comes with his entrance gear and the guitar, and I think this is the best Honky Tonk Man Elite that we have gotten so far. If you're a flashback collector, this is a definite must. I don't even have a Honky Tonk Man Elite in my collection, so this is a definite pickup for my set. Next up, guys, we have some more elite figures right here. First time in the line, Harley Race on the back on that little podium there. Looking very great. I love that head scan. Very, very accurate to Harley Race. Up front, we have a Stone Cold Steve Austin, but I believe it is just a Steve Austin, so it's before he fully took on the gimmick and became, you know, the bad A guy that he was. And then we have this Elite Jake the Snake in his blue attire, which looks great. It looks like it comes with his entrance shirt or vest there as well. So these are three great Elite flashbacks that we're getting as well. Next up, we have some basics, guys, and this is a new Build-A-Figure Flashback Series set that it will be Walmart exclusive, I'm guessing, since the first one was Walmart exclusive, you know, the Howard Finkel set. We have a Sting, Lex Luger, Booker T and Ric Flair, and the Build-A-Figure is a J.J. Dillon. Again, a bunch of flashbacks here, but I love the Build-A-Figure sets. I would love to have that. Uh, it looks like a purplish suit there that I am definitely going to be up for getting, so I think that is great. And that Ric Flair in the suit looks amazing as well, so I probably will end up getting this whole set. Next up, we have a very interesting Elite set right here with the WWE Elite Fan Central Series 2 featuring Daniel Bryan, Mojo Rawley, Akira Tozawa, and Carmella. I'm not sure exactly where the store, what store will pick up these exclusive. Obviously, if Toys R Us is going out of business, they can't pick up Series 2 of Fan Central, so it'll be interesting to see where they land. Um, but these figures look incredible. I love that Daniel Bryan. Mojo Rawley looks awesome. I love the attire they chose, but I don't know why they chose that body mold. I think the Stone Cold Steel Steve Austin would be a perfect body mold for Mojo Rawley. Akira Tozawa in that lime green and blue looks incredible. Cannot wait to see what that will look like when it is finally produced. And then, of course, that Carmella is one of the best diva figures that I have ever seen in the Mattel line. So I am very excited for this set. Of course, you have the shark and um, red rooster in the back as well. But this is just um, a fantastic set that I cannot wait to get. And the last figures I have for you guys in this video is these new NXT Elites right here. Paul Ellerling, Authors of Pain, and Killian Dane. Definitely a huge set for me. I will definitely pick all of these up. These are obviously prototypes. That is why they are not fully painted. You have some head sculpts and stuff like that. But these all look great. I cannot wait to see what the final product looks of these. They will definitely be a pickup of mine. Um, I guess these will be the NXT Series uh, 4, is it now? So that will be interesting to see how they look and you know everything that comes of that Series 4. But um, I think that's one of the best successful Elite lines is the NXT. You know, they're very hard to find, Target exclusive, but I love all of the figures that we got shown today at WrestleMania Access. And here's a shot of the Killian Dane, guys. Uh, I actually was in the middle of making this video when Ringside posted new images of the figure. So here's a shot of the Killian Dane that you didn't see in the last photo. And again, these figures, man, they're looking absolutely fantastic. I cannot wait to see what the finished product looks like. And then on display as well, we had a lot of figures that we already knew were coming out. We got the ringside exclusive Bret Hart, ringside exclusive Brian Kendrick, got the new Amazon exclusive Rock, Stone Cold, and Chris Jericho in there looking absolutely fantastic. I cannot wait for all of these figures, man. Mattel and everybody is just pumping these things out at an extreme rate. Got the Milko Mania epic moments here with Kurt Angle, Stephanie McMahon, and Stone Cold coming with a slew of accessories, all of the milk stuff, and just everything is just, this is so amazing to see that we're getting all these like crazy exclusives and crazy detailed moments of wrestling in figure form here are the SummerSlam 27 elites that we have already seen before but again just I cannot wait for these to finally be released I'm sure they are coming very very soon that Seth Rollins looks absolutely epic here we have the Walgreens exclusive Maurice and we have Naomi with that glow in the dark Smackdown Live title got the Hall of Champions over there on the right with DIY and Kane and Ron Simmons but that is going to do it, guys. If there are any more images up, 
from WrestleMania Access that I can post up for you guys. I definitely will do so. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below what figures you're looking forward to the most. Stay on the lookout for more videos of new action figures coming soon. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.